Embedding Instagram on your WordPress site is one of the easiest ways to get more traffic, more engagement, and more followers. And in this video, I'll show you how to easily embed Instagram on your site in under 10 minutes. So let's dive in. So this is our site and we want to add an Instagram page basically that we embed all of our images from all of the places that we've been to in one location. So let's do that. First thing we want to do is we want to head over to our WordPress dashboard. And from here, we want to go to plugins, add new, and we're going to search for a plugin. It's called smash balloon social photo feed. This is the one we want. So let's go ahead and install it now. And with this one, it allows you to add all of the feeds from your own profile or account. If you ever wanted to look into getting something deeper, you can go with their pro version that allows you to add things like hashtags. So any kind of hashtag or any kind of image with a hashtag on it, you can add it in here as well as a few other options. Great. Now that's installed. We see it installed here. You can come over to the left and anytime you need to come back to it, you can come to the left and go under settings. From here, you want to scroll down to find manage sources and you want to click on add source. Then we can click log in with Instagram and you want to give it the permissions to allow media as well as personal. Once it connects your account, then you can see it under managed sources and then we can move on over on the left. We can go to all feeds and now we want to create a feed. So let's click add new. And from here you can choose the feed type for the free version. We're just going to choose the user timeline. Then we can click next. If you have multiple sources here, you can choose which one. Since we only have one, we'll select that one and click next. Now we'll go out and create the feed for us. From here, we can customize everything. We've got a little onboarding item tells us what we can do that once we're done, we can embed, we can customize the look and feel, which is what we'll do next. And then there are some settings that we can choose. So right here, it gives us a preview of what our Instagram feed looks like, and we can change the layout here. So we can click on this. Grid is the main layout that we can use for the free version. But if you scroll all the way down, you can make a few adjustments here for you. For desktop and mobile, you can choose how many to bring in at once before they click on load more. And under desktop and tablet, you have how many columns do you want? So for this, we're actually going to do two for desktop and tablet is two is fine. And then mobile will just do one because we want to have this nice and big for them to see. You can also choose a dark or a light, or you can even customize the theme even more. We're going to inherit from the theme and that'll be fine. Going back and right here, you can change the, the header size, large, medium, or small. You can also add a custom avatar if you'd want. Under posts, you can choose the images, the resolution that you want automatically detecting is the default. Under load more, you can choose to have load more and more of the images will come in. And you can also set up the background, hover state, as well as a few other items. So it's all very customizable and looks really good. And then here you can change what this says, but this will help you increase your followers on Instagram and you can change the color scheme for that as well. We're going to leave all of that like that. So, oh, this looks good. We can come up here and click save. And now we need to embed it on our site. I want to put this on a page. So I'm going to go to all pages and I'm going to create a landing page for my Instagram photos You can call it whatever you want under the block. We can come over here and click on the plus. And we're looking for Instagram feed so that we can bring in our Instagram feed. And this is what it looks like. So we can publish this. And when I go to my site, then this is my Instagram feed right on my site. And if you're looking to get more organic traffic to your WordPress site, watch this video next on how I show you how this one thing can improve your organic traffic for your site. And I'll see you over there.